What's going on guys? I have a quick video for you today. I'm just going to show you how to adjust the mouse settings, the mouse speed for some of the games that have been released recently for Techno Parrot, like Golden T Live 2006. Let's go take a look at that. Let's go to this PC and then over here, go to Rocket Launcher, go to Library and go to User Functions. And finally, you want to go to Techno Parrot Patreon. Now, keep in mind, this is labeled Patreon, but obviously that's no longer the case. It's now a subscription, so it should really say Techno Parrot subscription. Um, in the future, I might change that. So look out for anything that says Techno Parrot subscription or Patreon if you're looking for this. And it's been a while since uh, this video was published. And when those games are removed from subscription, uh, I will probably move them over and in that case, you're going to want to look for either Sega Ring or you're going to want to look for just Techno Parrot by itself without any Patreon or subscription name next to it. All right. Just something to keep in mind for the future. But for right now, it's going to be in here, Techno Parrot Patreon. And you're going to see that I have three games so far in here. I have Golden Tea Live 2006, Power Pot Live 2012, and Puck Off. So these right now are disabled, basically. I renamed them .bak so that they're not active. So what you want to do to make them active, if you want to go ahead and adjust the mouse speed setting for your specific trackball, this is probably what you should be playing these games with. Um, let's say you want to do golden T. All you do is you right click this rename and then get rid of that dot BAK portion of the file name and just leave it with dot AHK like that. Hit enter. It's going to ask you here if you want to change it, say yes. And then it should turn and look like this with a little H icon right there. Now that profile is in play. So whenever you start golden T, it's going to go ahead and adjust your mouse, but you have to go in and tell it what you want to adjust your mouse to. So right click that, go to edit script. And right here, it's very simple. You can either do edit script or you can actually do even better. You can right click and do edit with notepad plus plus. And right here, all you're doing, don't get overwhelmed by all this stuff. All you're looking at is right here, speed six and right here, speed 10. So speed six is the setting that you actually want to change it to the default speed for windows is 10. So over here, it says 10 because that's the speed that we're telling it to set it back to after we exit the game. So right here is before you start the game, it's going to change it to whatever you tell it to. That way it has the correct setting that you want to actually play the game with. And then on exit, it'll set it back to 10 for, you know, your regular everyday use of your, of your mouse. I recommend uh, to start around six. That seems to work pretty well for these games. If you have an Ultimark trackball, a U trackball, um, and then 10, like I said, is the default windows setting. If you guys have send in guns and you followed my video, I tell you to put the speed all the, of the mouse all the way up. So in that case, if you do have a send in gun, you're probably going to want to put this at 20 because 20 is the maximum uh, range of the speed setting. So if you already keep it on 20 because you have send in guns, then you want it to set itself back to 20 when you exit the game, right? So you literally come here, delete the 10 and put a 20. And over here, you can play with it and see what you like better. You can try a four and see how you like that. You can try a five, whatever you want, right? So let's say you want to try a five here and you want to set it back to 20. Set those two, don't change anything else. Then what you want to do is you want to go to file, save, and that's it. That's all you got to do. So it's a two-step process. You, again, come here, rename, get rid of that .bak. Here, I'll do another one to show you. .bak, get rid of that, enter, yes. Then right-click, edit with Notepad++, and you change this number to whatever number you want to use in the game. You change this number right here to whatever number you want the mouse to set itself back to when you exit the game. Simple as that. You save it when you make the change, close out, and that's it. Now when you start the game, those settings are going to be in play. So that's it. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I will see you guys on the next one.